So this time I have an LED light bulb made by Luminous. Okay, it's a cheap bulb, right? But they should last longer than this. And this is not your standard problem with an LED that has failed. We've covered that before, where you get one LED goes out and the rest of them go out. This one is has experiencing a, a, bit, a little bit different symptom. When you turn it on, it just flashes once and goes out and doesn't come on again unless you remove the power. Let's check it out. Hmm. That's all it does. Let's see why. So first, we have to crack the bulb open without stabbing myself. So what could possibly be wrong with this one? Well, it could be a bad LED. That's always a possibility. Or it could be something in the control circuit that operates the uh, the string of, of LEDs. Could be a bad component. Could be a bad solder connection. Or it could be a bad actual chip. Usually when the chips go bad though, um, they don't flicker like that. They just don't work at all. But usually bad chips, you can identify them because they quite often will have a little black spot on the actual phosphor. So if we get a close-up look, can we spot one that looks to be possibly bad? These all look to be good. I don't see any bad ones. Any ones that are visually bad. What I am curious as to, perhaps we have a bad connection on one of these ICs, or even maybe maybe this connector here where, the, where these pins bring power up from the, the socket at the back. Um, we should be able to measure these with a meter. There's probably a fuse or a resistor on one of them, but uh, they should be connected through to the, the socket at the other end, I would think. So let's just see whether we've got continuity from the... Uh, the socket through. Okay, we have continuity on that one, and the tip has. So we do have continuity there. I'm going to just reflow these solder connections here on the rectifier and the control IC, and we'll see whether we get any light. I'm just going to put my other light in here so I can see what I'm doing. my daylight colored light just so that I can see what I'm doing and um, we'll try resoldering these I'm thinking it looks some of these connections look like they could be a little bit uh, a little bit questionable even this connection here where this this disc plugs in these were when these were made they actually can unplug they glue them in place but these can actually unplug from the base they did it that way so that they could make different wattages available and just put the, the, the actual wattage of the light they wanted into a common base. That's just the wires from the bottom they're plugging in there, so that won't be the issue, I don't think. I'm just making sure. Yeah. It might be this might be the pins here. Might might not even hurt to solder these onto this plug. You'll see that it's just the wires that poke through. So it's very possible that if you get a, a connection problem there, that uh, 
you could end up with a uh, bad connection at this socket here where the where the wires poke through the board I got the uh, the light in a a holder just to hold it so that I can perform the delicate surgery of resoldering the I'm going to solder both the connector here I'll solder the pin straight onto the connector and we're going to do the IC and uh, the rectifier and then we'll try it and see whether it uh, lights up or whether it still sputters and flickers and stuff I like saving old light bulbs from the, the trash bin right even though they're so cheap these days but if we can make them work longer I've got some that I fixed years ago and I'm still using them because well they still work first one I did was probably I don't know it was probably seven or eight years ago and it still works the chip the chip burned out on it so get in here and resolder this can you guys see what I'm doing or am I in the way we'll just redo this IC I think I'm going to have to heat the iron up a lot hotter than this just because the uh, heat it up to like 800 degrees because I'm soldering a chip that's on a heat sink. So I'm going to get the soldering iron much hotter than normal just so that the solder will stick. Because I got to get the heat to transfer right down onto the board. Soldering iron is about 850 degrees Fahrenheit to do this. Here, got that one. We'll do this other one as well. The rectifier. By comparison, I normally keep my iron between about 680 and 700 degrees Fahrenheit for normal soldering. And of course, we'll solder the wires coming from the socket to the, the plug because there's no reason that they'll ever be removed, ever. So we'll just solder these down just to make sure that there's no proper improper connection there. And of course, do the back side of these pins where they're soldered down to the board too. Double check and make sure I don't have any bridges there. Any bridges over troubled waters? I know it's ugly. I can turn that iron down before I burn my tip up. Get a close inspection here and see if there's any, oops, any solder bridges. I think we're okay. Is this thing going to light? Is it going to flicker? Or is it going to go kaboom? Well, let's plug it in. Hmm. 
I don't even get a flicker now. What's going on? Let's just check for continuity again. Maybe there's maybe there's a problem here. Let's see from the pin on the bottom. I've got continuity there. What about the side here? Oh, I don't have continuity anymore. Well, I did. And I don't I didn't see anything under here when I popped this open before, although I can still pop it open because I can just tip it up. And it's the white wire, and the white wire appears to be going down. That should be connected to here. But, you know what? I think it's loose. Maybe that's where the problem was before. Oh, you know what? This is where the fault is. Right down there. Aha! Alright, so, I think what I'll do is, I'm just going to put a little hole right down here in the bottom and fish this wire through and solder it down to that base. Maybe that'll make this light work. I'll get my Dremel and we'll drill a little hole in the bottom there and poke that wire through. So this was normally crimped down onto here, but I guess it wasn't crimped right, and that's why it was flickering. Interesting. So this is going to make some noise. Let's see if I can fish that wire down through that hole. I should be able to if it's big enough. This is actually metal, this here, right? But this bottom below is plastic. So I went through it, the plastic part. We'll bring this down here and bring that wire right through the wall, right through that hole. Tip that back up like that. And we're going to uh, tack this wire right down to the edge of this. Clip off the excess. All right. Now, is it going to work? This is off, by the way. Woohoo! I fixed it! Yes, okay. So, snap that cover back on. <clears throat> Good as new. So don't throw your LED light bulbs away when they don't work. Because many times they can be fixed. And as I say, not one LED was bad on this. It was just a bad connection between the socket. Well, it could have been one of the ones on the board too, right? Because they did go over the board. But we lost a connection. It was just sputtering when I turned it on. Now it's functional. There you go. Thanks for watching. That's your quick tip for Sunday. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.